Wiener Schnitzel is a fast food chain that specializes in hot dogs that was founded in 1961. Thank you for your suggestion. Gotcha! Uh, whoa. Hello there. Wiener Schnitzel, the world's most wanted wiener, is taking one of your favorites to new heights with a low, low price. Just one forty-nine feature chili cheese fries fix, but not for long. Hurry in. John Collardi opened his first hot dog restaurant in Wilmington, California, in 1961. After graduating high school, Mr. Gallardi moved with his family to Southern California and enrolled at the Pasadena Junior College. Gallardi was walking across the street and a guy was hosing down the lot. He asked him if he needed any help and the man with the hose turned out to be Glenn Bell Jr., founder of the Taco Bell chain. Bell hired Gallardi at 50 cents an hour for part-time work which soon led to Gallardi managing Bell's commissary. He took over a poor performing Taco Bell under a partnership arrangement. By working double shifts and his wife taking on three part-time jobs, Gallardi was able to save $6,000. He then lent the money to Bell, who was strapped for cash. Unable to pay back the loan, Bell, three months later, offered to sell the store to Gallardi for $12,000. So Gallardi borrowed $2,000 from his parents, let everyone at the restaurant go, worked 30 days to get the other thousands, and paid $12,000 for a little taco store in Long Beach. That's how he got into his ownership position. After learning the ropes from Bell, Gallardi was ready to carve out his own niche in the fast food sector. A major break occurred when his hard work was recognized by a businessman who offered to build him a restaurant in Wilmington, California. Because the location was next to one of Glenn Bell's stores, Gallardi informed his mentor, who advised him to grab the opportunity as long as he sold something other than tacos. Gallardi decided to try his hand at selling hot dogs since it was an unexploited area in the market. His wife, after looking through a cookbook, then suggested Wiener Schnitzel as the name for the store, an idea that he immediately dismissed. However, three days later, unable to come up with anything better than John's hot dogs, Gallardi decided to call his new hot dog stand Der Wiener Schnitzel. Opening in 1961, Der Wiener Schnitzel proved popular, in some ways too popular with the car clubs of younger customers who tended to get rowdy. Gallardi then came up with a creative answer to the problem. He set up a drive through pickup lane, one of the first in the industry, that passed straight through the middle of the store's A-frame structure. In this way, customers could not get out of their cars, and after they bought their food, found themselves back on the streets, looking for somewhere else to go. Not only did Gallardi get rid of the rowdy loiterers, he was able to use a smaller format for his restaurants, lowering his rent. Gallardi began franchising the Wiener Schnitzel concept, which took off in the early and mid-1960s, making him a millionaire when he was still in his 20s. By 1968, the chain was 200 units in size, and Gallardi was turning down offers of as much as $20 million to buy the business. The fast food sector hit a rut, and Gallardi found he had expanded too quickly. Half the units were losing money, and he had $8.5 million in debt. In addition, he was contending with monthly negative cash flow of $150,000. Moreover, he was besieged with scores of lawsuits. It took about six years, but Gallardi succeeded in paying back his creditors. He also fought off every lawsuit and not only rebuilt the business, but also doubled the chain's sales volume. This comeback was accomplished despite hot dogs slipping in popularity because consumers were becoming more health conscious. To remain competitive, Wiener Schnitzel began offering hamburgers in 1973. In that same year, it quit building its 800 square foot A-frames and turning instead to larger structures able to accommodate indoor and outdoor seating. 
Gallardi had succeeded so well in turning around Wienerschnitzel that in the early 1970s he considered taking the company public, with the help of Bank of Boston, in order to fuel further expansion. However, fear of losing control of the business he built, he elected to remain private. The chain would reach its peak in 1975 when it totaled 450 company-owned and franchised operations spread across 20 states. Two years later, the chain dropped the Dürr, simply becoming known as Wiener Schnitzel. In 1981, Wiener Schnitzel decided to focus on what it was best known for, hot dogs, while still pursuing a marketing theme of we're not just hot dogs in a campaign headlined by baseball superstar and noted hot dog Reggie Jackson. In 1985, the chain added chicken sandwiches as well as biscuit breakfast sandwiches, but despite a significant increase in consumer awareness, Wiener Schnitzel remained firmly associated with hot dogs. The chain began de-emphasizing everything on the menu other than hot dogs, changing its motto in 1986 to nobody hot dogs it like we do. As Wiener Schnitzel moved into the 1990s, the chain had lost momentum. John Gallardi was on the verge of selling the business to the New York buyout firm Kelso Group, but he held out for a higher price and the deal was shelved. To get back on track, the company slashed overhead, including sizable cuts in corporate staff, and closed down more than 53 of the A-frame units that were no longer profitable. The chain began a dual branding program with the Tasty Freeze chain. By becoming a Tasty Freeze franchisee, Wiener Schnitzel added dessert items to its mix and experienced a significant increase in business during the late afternoons and evenings. By 2003, Tasty Freeze was incorporated into 52 Wiener Schnitzels and 8 original hamburger stands resulting in sales increases at some locations as high as 14%, but generally between 5 and 10%. The Gallardi Group was so pleased with his dual branding experience that in June of 2003, it decided to buy the Tasty Freeze chain, a decision influenced by the news that a major chain was considering acquiring the business. After two years, Gallardi Group was operating about 300 dual-branded units. Since 1999, the delicious one, or TDO, Wiener Schnitzel's mascot has been put in advertising, the slogan, the world's most wanted wiener. Celebrating Wiener Schnitzel's 50th anniversary, the restaurant created a new slogan that was released in 2011 to continue the Dürr theme, Dürr fun since 61. On April 13, 2013, Mr. Gallardi died of pancreatic cancer. His ex-wife, Cynthia Gallardi Culpepper, who previously was a silent partner, assumed the role as CEO and chairwoman after his passing. She was the corporation's first and only woman in a managerial position she would appear in a reality TV series called Undercover Boss in 2016. Wiener Schnitzel sells upwards of 120 million hot dogs each year. The company, dubbed the world's largest hot dog chain, Wiener Schnitzel currently operates nearly 350 locations in only 10 U.S. states located in the South and Southwest. The company is looking to expand to the Midwest in the next few years. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.